I won't outlive my paper supplies. Yes, I buy a new pack of paper for the printer, you know, every several months or something, and I do throw out, throw out the newspaper after I've read it and done the crossword puzzle, uh, but still, reams of paper pile up. Years ago, I was inspired by a very successful theater director who, in my opinion, wasn't such a great director or even such a wonderful person, but I noticed that he always had his notes on scrap paper. Every piece of paper that uh, could have been thrown away, he tore up and turned over and used the blank side. So I, I've done that ever since, and I got reams of this stuff. Every, any piece of paper, like, here's, here's the notes on this, you know, and I, eventually I'll tear this up and cut it in half, you know, and, and staple it upside down, and there'll be my scrap paper. But then there's all those note papers mailed to me and dropped off at my front door by a huge range of businesses and nonprofits. First of all, there's every uh, uh, insurance company and every real estate company in the world uh, and then somehow I got added to the list of every nonprofit so uh, Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, Simon, Tra Drivers, J uh, Simon Fraser University, Heart and Stroke Foundation, thousands of charities for children and for old geezers like me and so on and they're always sending me a paper, uh, reams of note paper often with my name on it. I've donated to a few, and after a few years of this, I just automatically, I don't even save the paper anymore. A radio station for whom I used to work, uh, and which no longer exists, you know, talk radio is prohibitively expensive, and you also have to put up with big egos. It's a nightmare. Uh, they gave me uh, a note paper with my name on it. Now, I can't throw that away, can I? I gotta leave it for the kids to give, you know, to museums or something, right? Absolutely. Uh, I carry little slips of paper in my wallet all the time, grocery lists, sometimes to-do lists. I still manage to forget, you know, the chips or the pickles anyway, even though I read the list. Uh, I use both the modern high-tech stuff and the paper. Of course, I've got, you know, all this stuff on my cell phone. I got the computer here, and I have a calendar and pieces of paper and so on. Uh, everything is synced up. Everything is connected to my Android, uh, my my socks, my sofa. So I almost cannot escape from my terribly busy and absolutely important schedule as I approach my mid seventies. One last item, way on top of my main bookshelves in the living room, is a beautiful oak box that I bought at the National Museum. Only I can't remember what. Was it Taipei or Seoul? One of those countries. Uh, inside the box are a few dozen adorable little notepads uh, designed to be taken out one at a time and carried about with you, you know, to, to take notes. You think I could throw out one of these perfectly square buff gray paper pads? Forget it. Pickle. Someday the rest of the world will realize that paper may be an even more basic need than food or water or Netflix.